<laughs> spooky kind of day can be a great way to get to know someone. Yeah, maybe like seeing a spooky movie so you yeah. can oh, get scared and jump into their arms in the theater. <laughs> so funny. Or Seaside Shadows Haunted History Tours and Mystic has the perfect Valentine's Day event and that's where we sent Marcy Jones to check it out. How's it going, Mars? It's going great, you guys. We are having so much fun, as you saw a little bit earlier on three, and now we're on the wax, and we've got a little story time that we promised you, so I'm going to hand it over to AJ, and then we're going to go to Courtney. All right, you're on, sir. Well, our Valentine's stories happen to feature some of the ancientest origins of Valentine's Day. Now, you guys might think love and rainbows, but actually it was an ancient pagan fertility festival with full of scandalous features where they would do all sorts of strange things that we would love to tell you about. Now, as time goes on, the Romans, of course, adapt their lo lovely traditions, and Courtney would love to tell you more about that because she has to know all of it. So. <laughs> Courtney, I'm very excited for what you have to say now. How can I, you top that? <laughs> it doesn't get more normal. I can promise you that. So the Romans have these ancient festivals, but so do the Greeks and so yeah. do the Normans, the Vikings. They all have these Gallatin's Day Lupercalia festivals. Okay. And they also have strange stories about Cupid, too, and, Ooh. you know, how he was this grown man and he accidentally pricked himself with his own arrow. And his mother gets involved in this strange relationship and she's overbearing. So she we'll always you. does. Am I right? <laughs> right. So if you're wondering why Cupid is seen as a baby, you can think his mom for that but so yeah wild yeah that's what I love so much about seaside shadows haunted history tours is you know you are very respectful of the actual history but you do have fun with it and you learn so much yeah yeah I think I get as interested putting the tours together as people do hearing the stories so yeah. join us in being curious together you know Courtney you've been doing these tours throughout downtown mystic for 10 years this is your third year doing my bloody Valentine yeah I mean it never gets old for you I'm sure because each year you refresh, you do something new, yeah. you bring in different characters. It's so cool. Oh, yeah. Every year, especially with themed tours like this, we try to add a little bit more oomph, a little more stories. I do it for myself because I'm interested. Yeah. I do it for guests so they get new material. But there's no shortage of dark and spooky stories for any holiday. I love it. And what is so special about Mystic? I mean, if you come here, you you know. But just for anybody who, who needs a refresher on why Mystic is so cool, mm -hmm. I mean, there's there's such a richness here of history oh, yeah. and, and so many other things. So Mystic has a rich history of indigenous people living here, seafaring folks, early settlers, sea captains, and being right on the water. Water is a conduit for spirit yes. activity. So we have all of the heartbeats of that history that just continue to stay here in town. Fantastic. For anybody who wants to join you, you know, for a fabulous Galentine's or for a spooky date night, what's the best way for them to get all the information? The best way is to go directly to our website, SeasideShadows.com. They're going to see all the information about our tours. They can look on the calendar tickets, and we're every Friday, Saturday, Sunday in February for My Bloody Valentine. Ooh, I love it. Now, nobody ever wants to rush time, but I do know that you have other tours coming up for anybody who kind of wants to plan ahead. What are some that may be coming down the line? Absolutely. So all spring, summer, and mm -hmm. fall, we're going to have downtown Mystic Ghost Tours that Ooh. go out almost every single night of the week. Okay. We have Mystic Graveyard Tours that go out two nights a week. And in our neighboring town of Westerly, Rhode Island, we're going to have tours several nights a week as well. Oh, I love that. Fantastic. Okay, really quick before we send it back, any tips for somebody about to embark on one of your fabulous tours? So come dress for the weather. You know, we're New Englanders, so it could be any type of weather. Yeah. And once you come dress for the weather, just be prepared for a fun and spooky time. I love it. Thank you so much, Courtney. Guys, had a most fabulous morning with you. Sending it back to you guys. Looks like a lot of fun, I know. Marcy. Gosh. And such a creative date idea. Exactly, it's right? Fun, right? Something extra fun to do. Yeah. All right, what